Good morning, dear students. We'll continue with our topic, direct and indirect. So I have explained you the rules uh, regarding changing tenses, changing pronouns, and changing the words which uh, tell us about the time, place, etc. So let us see some examples. We will deal with assembly sentences. So the first example is I say to him, I will go to school tomorrow. So let us change this sentence into indirect speech. I say to changes to tell. I tell him, remove the inverted commas and that. I tell him that. Now the subject is first person. So whenever there is first person, it changes according to the subject of reporting verbs. The reporting verb is say and its subject is I. So here it will be I. Now here as this is in present tense, the tense of this verb will not change. So we will be remain as it is that I will go to school tomorrow changes to the next day okay let us see second example he will say to her I will come to see you
20 days ago will change to before. Okay, in this way you can change the assertive sentences from direct speech to indirect speech. I hope you have understood how to change. Now let us see how to change interrogative sentences into indirect speech. Now, interrogative sentences means what? Questions, right? So you know that there are two types of questions. WH questions and yes no questions. So we will see how to change both these types of questions. So first uh, let us see how to change WH questions into indirect speech. Before that let me tell you some important tips. When you change a question into indirect speech, especially WH questions, that is the questions which starts with WH interrogative words like who, why, when, how, what, where. Right? So when there is WH question, we should not use conjunction. In WH question, conjunction is omitted. Question is changed into a statement. So, interrogative uh, sentence is changed into assertive sentence. And the verb, reporting verb said is changed into ask, inquire, etc. So let us see how to change interrogative sentences. So first example, Sara said, Mother, where have you kept my new pair of jeans? Now here, where? WH word. So Sara, reporting verb said will change into Asked. Sara asked, whom did she ask? Her mother. Sara asked her mother. The question word will come as it is. Where? Now, this is a question. It will change into assertive sentence. Introductive sentence will change into assertive sentence. So in introductive sentence, after WH word, we use the verb and then subject. So when you change introductive into assertive, you have to replace these words. So you have to use subject first. Where you, you second person, it changes according to the object. Now which is the object? Mother. Where? She. Now which pronoun do we use for mother? She. Where she? Now have. This is present perfect will change to past perfect. Where she had kept my. It my. This is First person, it changes according to the subject that is Sara. So she in place of subject and here in place of object it changes to her. Where she had kept her new pair of jeans. Okay, next example. I said to him, how are you? Now said to will change to asked as it is a question. So I asked him, WH word how, you don't have to use any conjunction here as it is a interrogative sentence with in 
interrogative words. I asked him how you, you, second person changes according to the object of reporting verb. Object is him. So it means he. How he. Now R is present tense. It will change to past tense. How he was. Okay. Next, third example. He said to me, what are you doing? He said to changes to asked in interrogative. He asked me, WH word as it is, what? Subject you, second person changes according to the object of reporting verb, me. Me. So, me will change into I. What I. Our present will change to past. Was doing. He asked me what I was doing. Next third. She said to me. Why have you not come? She asked me why WH word said to change to asked. She asked me why subject you changes according to the second person that is changes according to the object me. So again it will change to I. Why I? Have will change to had not come. She asked me why I had not come. Next example. They said to me what will you do now? So they asked me WH word what? Subject U changes according to the object I. Will changes to would. Do. Now changes to then. Okay. In this way you have to change interrogative sentences which begins with interrogative words that is wh words okay now let us see how to change interrogative sentences which begins with auxiliary verbs that is yes no type questions now these are wh questions now let us see how to change yes no questions into indirect speech can we change interrogative sentence beginning with auxiliary verbs or you can say yes no questions into indirect speech at that time we have to use conjunction if or whether either of the two okay in wh questions we have to omit the conjunction but in Yes, no question. You have to use the conjunction if or whether. Question will be changed into assertive sentence. So, let us see the examples. Mridula asked. Mridula asked. It is a question word. So, we will keep it as it is asked. Manisha. Now for yes no question you have to use conjunction if or whether. If. Did you buy the magic show tickets? So it changes. You bought the magic show tickets. Now this is a 
interrogative sentence we have changed it into assertive sentence now let us change this assertive sentence into indirect speech okay so if you you means sec, uh, you is second person it changes according to the object so object is manisha so if she manisha is a female so we we'll use the pronoun she if she bought this is simple past changes to past perfect if she had bought the magic show tickets next example sita said to him will you play today so will you play today so this is a interrogative sentence so it will be changed into assertive like you will play today okay so sita said to change just to asked in interrogative sentence sita asked him by the word or if you can use any conjunction whether or if you second person changes according to the object him that is he whether he will changes to would play today changes to that day next example he said to his sister can you sing like a professional singer so can you can you will change to you can you can sing like a professional singer so it will be the assertive sentence he asked his sister if or whether any conjunction if you you change it, that is second person changes according to the object sister his sister sister female so she if she can changes to could if she could sing like a professional singer next i said to him was he making shoes so was he it will change as he was he was making shoes okay i asked him conjunction whether or if he third person so it doesn't change according to the subject or object of the reporting verb it remains the same so he was making was making past continuous tense past continuous tense changes to past perfect continuous tense so he had been making next example he said to her are you willing to go to america he asked her are you that is you are you are willing to go okay he asked her if you second person changes according to the object object is her so it will become she if she are willing are willing to change are willing that is present continuous changes to past continuous if she was willing to go to america in this way you can change interrogative sentences into 
indirect speech i hope you have understood how to change wh question as well as yes no question into indirect speech thank you